X O Y. X O Y. X O Y. Why not both? Cause I got them both. Hi guys, welcome to my latest nanoblock unbox and build video and we've got uh, one of the Mega Charizards to build. We've got Mega Charizard X right here and we've also got Mega Charizard Y. Now I'm going to be doing uh, Mega Charizard X in this video because, well, it's in numerical order and it's a lot easier to do it that way. So, let's also go through uh, some of the details from Mega Charizard X. Now this is a Mega Evolution that was first only exclusive in Pokemon X uh, back in the 3DS, which regained the well, which helped regain the uh, popularity of the Pokemon gameplay and introduced a new mechanic for already evolved Pokemon, well, maxed out level Pokemon, which is the Mega Evolutions. So I play Pokemon Y, but I've never played Pokemon X. And I don't know if I'd be able to do it uh, on live streams. So it looks like uh, you need some kind of a special um, uh, capture card for the DS's or 3DS's. Just go. But I'm really looking forward to this one because. Uh, was, this is one of my first Mega Evolution Pokemon uh, Nanoblock sets uh, in my collection, and of course, uh, right here on the channel. So, there's going to be a lot of greys in it, and uh, some blues as well. And I've got five bags to go through. Now, the instruction booklet... Well, I hope it's one-sided. But it's a quite a big instruction booklet, let me say that. And, boy, I think... I'm gonna have to uh, really plan this one out guys, so uh, I'll see you in just a second. Before I begin guys, I just want to point out that I am also active on the community tab here on the YouTube channel. I do all sorts of things, from posting pictures to my latest projects, as well as polls which will affect the Twitch and YouTube channel. So please do spend a couple of minutes checking out all my community posts, and of course, enjoy the video. Okay, so there is over 300 pieces in this set and it has taken me quite a long while to sort all the bricks out uh, into their groups. So let's start off uh, right here with the greys, which is the main uh, meat, well the body of Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard X. So, let's start off with the uh, smallest ones. We've got uh, 16 one by ones right here. We've also got 36 one by twos right here. I will try my best guys. The uh, I know they are very difficult to see. 36 one by twos. We've got 34 one by threes and then 18 one by fours. So that's the first tray. And it has been a bit of a challenge trying to organize everything because um, the sheer amount of bricks and the colors uh, needed for this model is unbelievable. Then we've got in 2x2s, two we've got 19 of these. We've got 24 2x3s two and 7 2x4s. Then moving to the middle, we have got in L's and we've also got some uh, T's as well. The T's we have 8 of these. And the L's there are 26. So that is all the greys for most of Mega Charizard X. Now for the light, uh, the dark blues, because there are quite a few, who are especially for his wings. Uh, and I will do both wings at the same time. So just so you're aware of what's happening with the build. For the dark blues, we have uh, in 1x3s, we've got 16 of these. And 8 L's right here. Next up. We have got six one by ones, six one by twos, and twelve one by fours. 
So that's it for the dark blues. Then we've got some pastel blues uh, also on the model, which will uh, help uh, really bring out the colors for Charles, uh, Mega Charizard X. We've got eight one by ones, four one by threes, and five one by twos. We've also got five bl uh, pastel blue tees and four two by twos right here. We've also got nine two by threes in pastel blue as well. Then we've also got two red one by twos, which are going to be for Mega Charizard X's eyes. So expect them uh, to really uh, pop out on the model. Then we've got uh, in white, we have got two T's, two white 1x2's and four white 1x1's. Which I assume are going to be for uh, the teeth of Mega Charizard X. Oh sorry, it's six of white 1x1's right here. Now we've also got some see-through bricks as well, so let's start with the clear plastic, uh, uh, just the pure clears. We've got two 2x3s right here. These are the bricks right here. Then in, we've also got some clear blue bricks as well. These are normal blue clear-through bricks. We've got two 1x1s, seven 1x2s, two 1x2s, five 2x2s, and 13 L's. So there's going to be a lot uh, to do in this model and we're going to I'm going to start off with step one of the build where we're going to be working on Mega Charizard X's body and there's a lot to go through. The, the size of this instruction booklet. My camera can't even fit it. It's I know there's 58 steps to go through but come on! Okay, so step one of this very long Mega, uh, uh, mega Charizard's Nanoblock hook uh, build is complete, and I began with the pastel 2x3 right here, and then put a pastel blue 1x3 right here, so that it forms a uh, sort of a 3x3 uh, for the uh, belly of uh, Mega Charizard X. Then behind each uh, those two bricks is a grey 2x4 right here on the right. And then on the left here is a 1x4 right here. Hopefully you guys can see all of that. Uh, then on both sides is uh, where it's um, at the very back of the uh, pastel blue. And at the very front of the um, grey right here is a 2x3 grey again. Followed by a 1x2 right here to uh, help form the uh, curve for Mega Charizard's legs. So... Nice and easy step, hopefully in the next step, in step 2, everything will uh, be secure and I can carry on with the build, with no worries whatsoever. Step 2 of the build is over and done with, and... Yep, it's all secured, which is brilliant, how I like a model to be. So, my foundation brick is the pastel blue 2x3 right here at the front. Followed by another 2x3 right here on the right, and then one here on the left, uh, sorry, a 2x2 two two right here on the left to uh, keep it all together. And of course, uh, to make it all, uh, well, to bring it all together and to secure uh, the model more easily. Then I went to the, uh, behind each one of those and placed a grey 2x3 here and then here. And then, to help con uh, connect the uh, first step together, I place a grey 1x3 and a 1x2 together, like so. And you have to make sure that there's at least a uh, 1x2 gap right here in the middle of the model, uh, just to uh, keep everything together, I believe. Then, it, it, uh, I place a grey 2x3 right here, followed by another 1x3 to start work on the tail for Mega Charizard. Then I grabbed two grey L's, and guess what, the gaps are filled by the 2x3's right here. And of course the uh, gap on the one here on the right, it's got to be facing northwest, and the gap on this one should be facing northeast. Just to uh, help you uh, guys out to, uh, to figure out where the L should go. So with that over and done with, I'm now going to get to work on step 3 of the build where we're going to be working on more of uh, Charizard's lower body and his mega tail. Step 3 of the build is over and done with and we have uh, made a good amount of progress uh, on this on this mega set. So first of all, I began with the pastel blue 1x3 right here at the front of the model to uh, 
uh, help out with the belly, and of course, uh, to uh, it's a really good foundation brick when you're doing this uh, step. Then I place another pastel blue 2x3 here, followed by a pastel blue 2x2 uh, to its right. Then behind it, I placed a grey 2x3 right here so that it's uh, linked together. And then on both sides, uh, kind of going uh, on a sort of a mirror build here, on the left and right side is a grey 1x3 where it is uh, covering, um, where each one is covering, uh, going to the back of the model, and it's of course uh, going over the uh, brick where the um, gap is um, filled by the uh, the brick from the 2x3 earlier. Then of course another 2x3 of grey here and here. And then to work on the tail, we've started with a grey 2x4 and then a 1x4 right here. So that's it for step 3 of the build. Next up on step 4, we're carrying on with working on the tail and of course the lower body for Charizard. Okay, so step 4 is uh, over and done with and we have built more of the uh, underbelly for uh, Mega Charizard X. So we began with the pastel blue 2x3 right here at the front. And then on both sides of that brick is a pastel blue one by one here and here. Then at the back of each one of those pastel blue one by ones is a grey two by three. And you have to make sure that uh, at least a peg, one, one peg underneath uh, that two by three is, uh, un uh, has no support on it whatsoever. So that uh, we can also place another grey 2x3 right here to link everything. And then behind each one of those grey 2x3s is a grey 1x3 right here and here. And to work on the tail, we've got another grey 2x3. There is a recurring thing with 2x3s now, isn't there? And a 1x3. And of course we've also put on a grey 2x4 to help work on the tail. And then I place a grey 1x1 one one right here, so that it uh, sort of creates that curved uh, round tail that uh, all Charizards are known for in the anime. So that's it for step 4. I'm now going to get to uh, work on step 5, and it looks like we have some work to do on his hands. Hallelujah. Okay, so step 4. Five of the build is nearly complete, and I'll explain why it all revolves around this uh, side of uh, Charles, uh, the Mega Charizard model. So I began with another pastel blue one by three right here, followed by a pastel blue two by three and a two by two right here. Then behind those uh, two bricks is gray is a gray two by three and a gray two by two right here, and then I placed a little gray one by one here and then here. And to uh, carry on working on the uh, curve for Mega Charizard's uh, bo uh, body, so that uh, towards its tail, I began with the uh, grey uh, 1x4 here, and then one here, followed by a 1x3 right here, and a 1x2 right there to finish off that uh, uh, curve to the, uh, on the back of uh, Charizard's, uh, Charizard's body. Then at the very back here on its tail is a two 1x3s, one here, and one here. Now it will be a little bit uh, loose, but hopefully uh, uh, it shouldn't be cause that uh, many problems. Now for the hands. Each of the hands requires at least two gray one by one, uh, two by twos, where one of them is oh, uh, halfway here underneath uh, the other. Then a white two by two right here, and then you place it on the body like so. And there we go, Mega Charizard has hands. And we've still got some work to do on the uh, back of Mega, uh, the body of Mega Charizard X. So I'm gonna get to work on that on step six. Okay, so step six of the build is now over and done with and We've knew, uh, we've done some uh, pretty good work on it as well, I should say. Uh, I began with the pastel blue uh, 2x3 right here at the front, which works out uh, perfectly as my foundation brick. Then I placed two pastel blue 1x1s on both sides on the back of the uh, earlier placed brick. Then right here is another grey 
two by three and another two by two. I don't know when the two by threes are gonna stop, guys. There's gonna be a lot of them. Keep that in mind. Uh, and then I placed a uh, grey one by threes right here to. Uh, I believe they are for the effect of Mega, uh, the Mega Charizard X's body. I will find, uh, hopefully, find out um, soon if I do own a Mega Charizard X. Then I grabbed another grey two by three right here, and then I placed a grey T right here where my uh, pointer is. So that is it for step 6 of the build. On step 7 it looks like we're going to be working on more of uh, adding a little bit of detail to uh, the earlier 1x3s and more on Mega Charizard X's body. So we're now done with step 7 of the build and yep we have added some little details onto the model. So I began with the pastel blue 2x3 again as the foundation brick but then I went away for a little bit and placed the blue 1x1s on top of the 1x3s that we placed earlier in the build, right here and here. And you gotta make sure that they're at least over the, um, uh, on the uh, end of uh, those 1x3s. Otherwise you're not gonna get that effect. Then I placed two grey L's on the model, one here and one here. And of course the gaps uh, on the one on the left is facing southeast and the one on the right is facing southwest. And that would create a little bit of a gap uh, between those two L's. So, to um, fill in the gap, we had to place a grey T right here. And of course, the uh, odd peg has to be in between those two L's from earlier. And it's not the first T brick there. As you can also probably notice here, there's also a grey T right here where the odd bit is facing towards the tail of Mega Charizard X. So that's it for step 7. Step 8, it looks like we're going to be working on more of the neck for Mega Charizard X. So I'm going to get to work on that right now. So we're now done with step 8 of the build and it's really easy. It's just a pastel blue 1x3 right here at the front, followed by grey 1x3s here and here, followed by 1x4 right here in between those, three one by, uh, those two 1x3s. And then two pastel blue 1x1s, one, one, one here and one here to uh, carry on creating the effect on the Mega Charizard X. And that's it for step 8. I'm going to move on to step 9, but I'll do it on camera because it's a nice and easy step. All you basically need is a grey T here and place it on top as such and in between those pastel blue 1x1s. One so those pastel blue markers are a great way of uh, identifying where the, that T should go. So that's over and done with. I'm now gonna have to uh, turn the model over so that I can get to work on step 10 of the build. So we're now done, almost done actually, with step 10 of the build. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys uh, what each, uh, well, what the first thing you had to do uh, underneath the uh, model for Mega Charizard X's. So I began with the class uh, see-through clear brick here, uh, which is one peg uh, away from, oops, sorry, yep, one peg away from the, here, there we go, from the uh, gray brick right there. Let me see if I can uh, adjust some of this. Bada boom, bada boom. There we go, hopefully. And uh, there, okay, so that's what it should look like, um, very uh, first and foremost. Then it is on both sides uh, of, uh, well, uh, aligned with the gray uh, bricks uh, from the first step. There are two one by uh, two by twos here, one here, and then one here on the on the model. Then a L to uh, go underneath um, uh, the uh, very first step of the uh, build. And of course the gap, uh, this side, it should be facing northwest. And on the other side, it should be facing northeast. And of course to uh, help uh, keep everything together, there is a grey one by one right here. Then I have to do um, the feet for Mega Charizard X. So there is a grey, uh, I began with a grey 1x1 one one, so that it's kind of a, a great um, 
foundation brick for this. Then a white T where the uh, odd peg should be going in uh, underneath the uh, model. And then a gray L where the gap is facing southwest on this side. So I'll show you how it's supposed to be done. So it should look like, th uh, should be done like this. Start off with the uh, one by one. Move on to the T and secure everything with the L, the gray L. There we go. And then a this last see-through brick right here underneath the model. And that's what it should look like without the uh, arm of Mega Charizard S X uh, coming loose. So that is it for that step of the model. I'm now going to uh, put it to the side so that I can work on both wings for the model. And yes, it will. It, I did say both wings. I'm going to do them both at the same time so that uh, I don't waste um, uh, a lot of time recording uh, everything doing one wing at a time. Okay, so I've got steps 11 and 26 uh, sorted, and apologies in advance for the uh, change of the, um, well, the positioning uh, for the um, bricks. It's just that uh, these are so dark uh, when they're uh, put together, it's kind of hard to see uh, what bricks you're going to need. So I've moved them uh, to a brighter position uh, on my mat so that I can show you guys uh, what you should do for each uh, step. So on step 11 and step 26, we began with two blue, uh, navy blue 1x4s and a grey 1x2 right, uh, beti uh, sorry, right behind each of the uh, uh, dark blue 1x4s in the middle. Then to the left on step 11, uh, sorry, to the right on step 11 and to the left on step 26 is a grey L where on this one, this step, step 11, the gap is facing southeast, and step 26 is the gap is facing southwest, but the gaps are face are filled, sorry, by the dark blue one by fours here, and then it's carried on with a another gray one by three right here, and here. So that's it for steps 11 and 26. I'm now going to um, get to work on step 12, where we're going to be working on more of the wings and hopefully put uh, keep everything together. Step 12 and 27 of the wing builds are now over and done with, and it was a little bit tricky to do it at first, but once I got uh, a rhythm on one wing, I managed to get to, uh, managed to do it with the other one. So I began with the dark blue, one by three right here. Yep, yep so one, uh, one and one here. Then I placed a dark blue L, where on step 12, the gap is facing southeast, and on step 27, the gap is facing southwest. Then, to uh, help carry on with the uh, effect, it's, I place a dark blue 1x2 here and here for the wings. And of course, uh, the dark blue L's are over the gray L's from earlier, but hopefully, well, it is wobbling um, on both models, but hopefully, uh, in later steps, that uh, wobbling will. Uh, subside. Then I placed, uh, what I did underneath each one is a, uh, for the grey part of the wings, it is a 1 by 3 on this side of the, uh, these side of the wings, and then a 1 by 4 to uh, help connect everything together, and of course the grey elves, again south East on step 12, southwest on step 27, uh, southwest on step 27, to uh, help connect uh, those bricks together. So hopefully with steps 13 and 28, uh, that uh, shaking should stop. If not, I'm probably going to have to uh, wait until a, a later step. Steps 13 and 28 of the build are now completed, and it was. A relief to uh, see that the models uh, have stopped shaking uh, on this part of the build. So I began um, heading from the inside of both the wings uh, a grey 1x2 and a dark blue 1x3 uh, sticking with their original colours. Then I placed a, another blue, another dark blue 1x3s to fill in the gaps from the grey L's that we did on steps 12 and 27. 
Then at the back of each one of those uh, 1x3s is a gray 1x2 uh, followed by the dark blue L's where the gaps are facing uh, southeast on step 13 and southwest on step 28. Uh, and those L's actually have uh, helped secure the, uh, those uh, steps a little more securely now, which is brilliant. So that's over and done with. There is a huge sigh of relief for me. I'm now going to get to work on step 14 and 29 of the wing builds. Steps 14 and 29 are nearly completed. I thought I'd show you guys uh, what you had to do on uh, each of the wings, um, especially uh, this part in particular right here, where it's uh, very unique. So let me begin, uh, begin with um, the ends uh, of each wings. So each one has a gray L, where on step 14, the gap is facing northwest, and step 29, it's northeast. And then there is another gray L, where it's southeast. He's on, uh, yeah, southeast on step 14, and southwest on step 29. And then there's also another dark blue L from, uh, uh, to uh, help connect everything. And again, south, uh, northeast on this one, north, uh, northwest on this one, northeast on that one. And then there are two more dark blue 1x3s here and here, followed by a gray 1x2 here and here, and a dark blue 1x3 here and here. And you have to make sure that it's at least uh, from this dark blue 1x3, it's one peg, peg uh, away from each other so that they're not connected. So for this part, it's really easy. You just have to grab two gray 1x2s, place each one, uh, one underneath the other, like so, and then a gray L on like this, and then place it on the model Let me, there we go. Now it will. And that's it. So my tip on doing that, uh, those steps is do this first before you place the uh, dog blue one by three on so that you have a clear idea on where you have to put uh, put that piece uh, on the model. Otherwise, it will be rather difficult to try and put it on as I've already done uh, earlier in uh, just a few moments ago. So that is over and done with. I'm now going to move on to step 15 and 30 of the wings. Steps 15 and 30 are now over and done with, and I gotta say, the wings are looking really good. So uh, let me use uh, step 15 as an example of what you have to do. Uh, for, each, uh, for each step, I grabbed a grey 1x3 and placed it over the grey L from step 14, and of course, uh, just to uh, keep everything secure. Then I placed a gray T where um, this section of the T should be behind two pegs of the 1x3. Then I grabbed another gray 1x2 right here and filled it on the right side of the odd peg on the T. Then a dark blue 1x1 right here uh, to uh, start off with the wing uh, effect of well, the uh, inside wing effect of the uh, of for Charizard. Then a dark blue L right here, where the gap is facing southeast. For step thirty, it will be facing southwest. Then a dark blue one by four right here to uh, give that uh, uh, spread out emote, uh, feel of the wings. Then two grey one by threes, one by uh, right next to each other behind the dark blues. Who's uh, to uh, hide the uh, out, uh, the inside uh, wings for the model? So this is what it should look like on both the Charizard models now, and with steps th 16 and 31, we're going to create uh, a better effect. Steps 16 and 31 are now completed on the mo 
on the model. So, uh, for e uh, again, I'll use step 16 for this. Uh, I began with a grey 1x2, where it's covering um, the right-hand side of the T from step 15. Uh, for step 31, it's uh, the left-hand side. Then it is a dark, uh, I place a dark blue one by one right here next to each of the gray one by twos. And behind those two bricks is a gray two by two to keep it all together. And then finally two, a dark blue one by four and a gray one by four to uh, carry on the uh, spiky look effect of uh, Char Mega Charizard's wings. So that's it for those uh, for those steps. I'm now going to move on to step 17 and 32 where we're carrying on working on the top of the wings. Okay so steps 17 and 32 they are a very uh, unique step I should say for build, uh, working on the wings and hopefully with the amount of uh, light that, uh, the, that we're uh, getting right now uh, you can see uh, what's happened. So the greys kind of form uh, something on steps um, step 17, it should, it com comes like this, um, hopefully, uh, nope, it might not, uh, it should be like this, and step 32, it's the other way around. So, uh, with step 17, I began with a grey, uh, well, for each of the wings, I began with a grey L. For step 17, the gap should be facing northeast, and this, and for step 32, it should be facing northwest. Then I filled in the gaps with uh, a dark blue 1x4 and car uh, carried on uh, covering the back of the wings with a 1x3 uh, right next to the um, the L, so it kind of forms um, sort of like that C effect. And then a grey 1x2 to uh, help finish off covering the backs of each of the wings. So that's it for step 17. Step 18 I'm going to do real quick uh, off camera and uh, show you the end result for those wings. So steps 18 and 33 are over and done with but the wings still have a long way to go before they're finished. So each wing began with a gr uh, each step for the wings began with a gray two by two where they are uh, going over the top of the gap of the L's from the earlier step and then it is finished with a dark blue one by three uh, right here at the back. So it looks like we're carrying on with more of the curved effect for um, the wings of uh, Char a Mega Charizard X. So steps uh, 19 and 34 I'm going to do here on camera. Uh, so, each step requires a 1x3 in grey, and they should be positioned like so, and then a dark blue 1x4 right over the uh, previous brick, the 1x3. There we go, one here, and one here. And that's what they should look like at the ends of step 19 and 34. So I'm gonna uh, quickly go and do steps 20 and 35, and carry on with the wing effect. And uh, it looks like it's a bit of a tricky step, this one. So I'll show you in a minute. So step uh, 20 is done, but step 35 is nearly done. I thought I'd show you guys uh, what you had to do uh, for this section of the wing right here. But first you have to place a dark blue 1x3, um, one peg uh, from the inside of the dark blue 1x4 from, earlier, uh, from the previous step. Yep, uh, just to carry on with that um, visual effect for the wing. Now, for the back of the wing, you have to start off with a grey, uh, a 1x3, and a 1x4. Place the 1x3 under the 1x4, one peg away, depending on which uh, step you're doing. One peg away from the uh, left on step 20, for step 35, should be on the right. Then, carrying on with the right, uh, there is a grey L right here at the top, and then a 1 by 2 who, if I remember correctly, here. Uh, 
here and here. So it should look like this and then you can place it on top like that. Nice and simple. So that's it for step 20. I'm now going to get everything that I'll need for steps 21 and 36. But before I do uh, show you the end result, I've just got a quick little message to share with everybody. Do you like what you see on the screen? The link to the video will be down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But for now, we're going back to the build. And don't forget guys, you can always catch me on Twitch and at 2 p.m. London time. And yes, I'm also on Kick. The uh, There's another streaming service that I'm now on. So I'm also on that. If you do have a Kick account, you can check me out in the Linktree link right here on my YouTube page. So please do check me out on both of those pages whenever you get the opportunity. But right now we're back on step 21 and step 36. So step, th I'm gonna carry on with this wing so that I can show you what uh, each one should look like. So step 21 and 36, it's just a gray two by two, uh, making sure that uh, these are linked together. Then for step, uh, step tw yeah, that's step 21 and that's step 36. Step 22, it is a grey 1x4 here at the back, and then a 1x2 who, who like this. And it should be the exact opposite for step 37. For step 38 and 23, you just need to place a grey 1x1 on the very tip of the 1x4 that you placed on earlier. And then for step 30, uh, 24, I just need to place a dark blue one by three yeah, right here, I believe. And then a gray one by three right behind it. So it should look like this. Then a dark blue one by two. And then a grey 1x2. So that's what it should look like. For that. But there's also another dark blue 1x2 that we have to put on. Right here. And then. A grey 1x2. To connect. And hide everything. Followed by another dark blue, well, a dark blue one by one. Here. And a gray one by one right here. And that, this is what the wing should look like. That's the end result of step 24. So I'm going to uh, quickly go and uh, carry on with uh, steps 37, 38, and 39, and then once I'm done with those steps, I'll show you what they should both look like, and then we'll place them on the Charizard model. So both wings are now completed for the Mega Charizard X build, and we are just about ready to put them onto the model. So for this wing, step 24, it should be at least two away yes I am correct and this wing should be positioned right here and you gotta admit this is quite the large wing for Mega Charizard X oh I'm looking forward to uh, finishing off this model uh, but before we uh, put him uh, away, we've just got uh, a few more details left to build, including the head and the flame for his tail. So, the next step is the flame. We'll put him to the side again. And then we just need to start off with a grey 2x2 two two and a see-through, a clear blue 2x2, two two, and place them on top of each other, like so. 
So that's it for step 41 of the build. I'm now going to uh, get to work on step 42 and carry on working on the flame. Okay, so step 42 is now over and done with. We've done more with the flame uh, on Charizard. Uh, on its tail, and we began with a pastel blue, one by two. Now it doesn't really matter where you position that uh, brick, but once you do position it, you're going to have to uh, use it sort of like a uh, reference uh, for your build, and uh, 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 for the late uh, for later on in the build. Then I placed a C clear blue, two by two, right next to it. Um, just make sure that it's at least two pegs away here on the edge here. Then. On top of that blue 2x2 two two is another see-through blue 1x2 right here, and then two see-through L's where the gap was kind of forming a, a crane arm. The one on the right is, uh, the gap on that is facing northwest, and the one on the left is the gap has it is facing northeast. And then those gaps are filled in by another pastel blue 2x2 two two right here on the model. So that's it for step 42. I'm now going to move on to step 43, where we're going to carry on working on more of the flame uh, for Mega Charizard X, and it's uh, very, it's going to be very tricky, guys. So uh, I hope you bear with me with this. Step 43 of the build is now completed, and it was it wasn't really that tricky, but uh, I found it uh, really good uh, once I knew where to begin, especially with the foundation bricks. So. This brick, the one uh, where the tip of the uh, stylus is pointing to, that is a see-through 2x2, two two, which is the perfect foundation brick example. Then to its right is a see-through blue, a clear blue, L, and the gap is filled by the 2x2 two two that we did uh, first. And then another C, uh, clear blue L again, where the gap is filled up by the previous L. And then right here, at the end is a pastel blue one by two, and then we've got another pastel blue one by two right here to start on the top, followed by a see-through a, a blue clear L, where well, the gap is uh, filled in by the pastel blue from earlier. Then a clear blue one by two right here to uh, create sort of a crane effect again. Then a see-through blue one by one right here to uh, finish off. Uh, that step. So that's it for step 43. Step 44 I'm gonna do on camera. So all you have to do for step 44 is two see-through blues and you have to put one on top of the other if I remember if I've read the instructions correctly. Do bear with me guys. And it looks like I do and then I place it on top of the pastel blue uh, one side of the pastel blue, the inner side of the of that brick, right here, and then a pass a uh, one by two see through blue. This is step forty five, and then a one by one again in see uh, clear blue, and that is it. We built the flame, so now we just have to put it on the model itself, and. We've got to make sure that it's, there we go, should be positioned right there. And of course, it looks like a proper tail. So that is it for the body for Mega Charizard X. We've still got to do his head though. So let's move on to step 47. For step 47, it's really easy. Uh, you just basically need four pastel T's. Um, so let me just uh, break it down. So what it should look like. So, uh, so this is the uh, this one right here is the foundation brick for the model uh, for the step. Sorry, and then you just grab two more pastel T uh, blue T's and connect them together like so, and then. Place one more to so that it looks like this, and that's it. That's all there is to uh, step forty-seven. Just a really simple step. Um, so that's 
I don't know what else to say. Um, except I'm going to get to work on step 48 where we're going to build more of uh, the head for Charizard X, uh, Mega Charizard X and get to work on the flames that come from its mouth. Okay, so step 48 uh, of uh, the build, after that easy step 47, probably one of the most easiest steps that I've done um, for this model so far. I began with the see through, uh, sorry, the clear blue, one by twos, one on this side and one on that side, so that it helps uh, keep the uh, model together, especially with uh, how those T's uh, were um, uh, started off the build, uh, this, the head build of. Um, of the model, uh, the, the model. Then I went and placed a gray uh, 2x4 right here at the back to form uh, part of the neck for Mega Charizard X. Then the gray 1x4 right here for the head. Then I placed a gray 1x1 in between the two L's, uh, 1x2's that we began with. Then I had to grab some C uh, clear blue what L's, one here and one here. The gap on the right should be facing the, uh, sorry, the L on the uh, right. The gap should be facing the northeast, and the one on the left should be northwest. Uh, sorry, yeah, northeast, northwest. Uh, sorry, I got them mixed up, guys. Uh, hopefully, with step 48, I won't have any confusion with uh, where the L's go, if there are any. So, step 49, yeah. And there are more L's. Step 49 of the build is now completed and there is some instabilities uh, after this step. Uh, let me begin with uh, where I started with the build. So I began with the grey 2x3 and it's uh, covering the 2x4 uh, and the 1x4 that we did in step 48. Then I went forward um, for, the, uh, for the build and I began with a, another grey 2x3 followed by another 2x4 right here at the front and a 1x4 right here to its right and then underneath each of those um, right in the middle uh, there's no gap but we also got a white 1x1 here on the left and another one here on the right so that it forms uh, Mega Charizard's fangs then on both sides is another grey 1x4 here and here, and they are over the C, uh, the clear blue L's that we did in the um, previous step. And speaking of clear blue L's, we've got two more uh, blue L's, clear blue L's, where this one has its gap facing northwest, and this one has it facing northeast. And I got it right this time! Alright, so that's it for step 49. I'm now going to uh, get to work on step 50, where it looks like we're going to be building uh, more of uh, the eyes of Mega Charizard. I'm looking forward to this. Step 50 of the build is now completed, and we have got some eyes for Mega Charizard. Um, I'll explain what I did uh, in a minute. Uh, I began right here at the front with another grey 2x3, just to uh, make sure that um, the model doesn't wobble anymore. And of course, uh, to make sure that the teeth stay uh, where it, well, where they are. Then another grey two by three right here to uh, keep everything connect, uh, to help everything out. Then the two red one by twos, one to the left and one to the right. And you have to make sure that there is at least a little gap right here in between those uh, two red uh, one by twos. Uh, and then I placed another grey two by four here followed by a 2x3 and another 2x3 right here at the back to form uh, more of Charizard's head and then we got uh, another two clear blue L's one here and one here and of course the gaps are facing northwest and northeast so it looks like we're going to be carrying on with more of that um, burning flame effect from Char uh, Mega Charizard's X mouth in step 51 and of course finishing off those eyes Step 51 of the build is now completed, and as you can see, we've got some uh, white for the uh, eyes of Mega Charizard X. But be uh, before we go into that, I began with the uh, grey 2x4 right here on the left, and then a grey 1x4 here on the right. Then I placed the white 1x1s over the reds uh, to uh, finish off those eyes. But they aren't the eyes that we're looking for. Hopefully in step 52, we can do that. Uh, reach that target. 
So, uh, next up, I've placed uh, two grey L's. Uh, the gap on the uh, the left L is facing the northeast, and the one on the right is facing the northwest. Then I filled in those gaps with a 2x3 right here, and a 2x2 two two on the right, followed by a grey 1x3 to finish off uh, the, back, uh, the back of the uh, head of Mega Charizard X. And we've got more C uh, clear blue L's here, guys. We've got this one facing the, north, uh, the southwest, and this one facing the south east. So it is creating that uh, curved flame that uh, the Mega Charizard X is known for. So that's it for step 51. I'm now going to get to work on step 52, where I'm carrying on with the uh, flame effect from Mega Charizard X's mouth. So step 52 of the build is now completed, and it is looking uh, like a very uh, ag well, angry Mega Charizard X ready for a fight. So I began with the um, clear blue 1x2s, and you have to make sure that they are uh, one peg away from the uh, uh, model's head itself, so that it carries on with the flame effect. Then I went here at the front with the grey T right here with the odd peg facing the front. Then right behind it is a gray 2x3 here and a 2x2 right here to carry on with the uh, effect. Then we've got more gray L's where the gaps are filled in by, this one has its uh, gap filled in by the 2x3 and this one is filled in by the 2x2. Then a gray 1x1 here and here to carry on with the curved effect of the head. And then a grey T with the R peg facing the back of the head. So that's it for step 52. I'm going to go on to step 53, where hopefully we're uh, finishing off the flame effect for Mega Charizard X's mouth. So 53, step 53 is now completed, and to finish off the flame effects that come from Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard X's mouth, it's a, C, a clear blue 1x3 on both ends. And that's it for the flame effects. So to carry on with the uh, top of the uh, head for Mega Charizard uh, X, we've got a 2x3 right here at the front. And then in the middle, heading towards the back, is a grey 1x3 to uh, help connect everything. And then to support the connections is two uh, grey 2x2s on the left and the right side of the head. So, the flames are done, but the ears uh, and, of course, uh, the lower jaw for Mega Charizard aren't. So, I'm going to work on step... Uh, actually, I might as well do step 54 to 56 right here on the ca uh, recording right now. So, the one-by-ones, you just have to place... Uh, we just need two grey one-by-ones to start off with step 54. One here. One here, there we go, and then two L's, if I can find any. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to go into the pot, go one, and where's the other one? Ooh. Need to do a bit of digging for another one. One second, guys. Okay, um, bit of a weird one. This, um, I'm one sh uh, one gray L, uh, short of a bill uh, for bill, guys. So what I did, and I was lucky enough to have many spare part uh, spares of these. I used a gray one by two as uh, an alternative to uh, create the effect. It might not be the best um, solution, but it will definitely work. And with that, I can now move on to step 55, which is another one by one. At the end of each of those. There we go. And then for step 56, it is pastel blue 1 by 2s. One on the left, one on the right. And 
And that is it. So now I can move on to step 57, where I just need to uh, place another blue pastel T over the front right here, and then grab a pastel blue, two by three, and two white, one by ones, and then put the white one by ones on the pastel blue two by three to create this effect, and then place it right here at the end so that we've got a flaming uh, mouth effect for Mega Charizard X. This is what it says you look like. And then finally, to assemble the model on uh, the head onto the body, we just need to uh, make sure that it's at least right here over the uh, gray. Like that. Mega Charizard X. Ready to fight as both a fire and a dragon type. And I do apologize for that lack of the Grey L guys. I hope it doesn't uh, affect your builds um, in the future. Did you like my little unboxing video? If you did, why not check out my other content right here? I have a nice little video for a nanoblock set for a video game series, or I have a playlist right here for all of my past builds. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can help the channel grow. And ring the bell for, to get notified on my latest videos. Happy gaming guys, and I'll see you at the next unboxing build.